Jeez. Yo, Rin dude, you didn't do your time trick yet, right? Right. Time trick? Yeah, he can turn back time. It's pretty sweet. Huh? So that's what he was talking about. Rindo, when you've used that power of yours, have you ever noticed any side effects? No, not really. That's good. Oh, wait. There are these weird bird things that show up sometimes. Apparently, there's some kind of noise. Bird noise. Minimoto said something about how their trash made from turning back time. Well, do they do anything? Like, attack you? Nah, they're just kind of there. But it does seem like there's more every time I see them. If anyone knows a thing or two about trash, it's Minimoto. You might want to avoid using your powers if you can, just to be safe. Rindo. Which reminds me, did you get another vision today? Yeah. Right? Neku can see them too. To be honest, I couldn't really tell what was going on. But if we want to stop whatever it was from happening, we've got to find a way out of here. Right. B and I will try to find an exit. Just the two of you? Yeah, we'll cover more ground that way, but make sure you keep in touch. If anything happens, we'll come yes. running. Got it, stay safe. What were you and Neku talking about? We decided we're gonna split up and look for a way out. Oh, okay. Hey, look, I'm really sorry. What for? I thought we could trust Asukaji. Oh, well, fool me once, fool me twice, I guess. Uh, I messaged him yesterday about what happened with Sugumi and Neku and all that, and about how there's something weird with Shiba's powers. He said he thought it was weird too, so he'd help us out. But then he went and did this. Is that why you were so angry at him? I wonder if he's gonna go for, try to fight Shiba on his own or something. He'd be stupid to do that, but... Uh, sorry, I'm so useless. You're not useless. You help out You help out all the time in battle and stuff. If anyone's here is useless, it's me. Are you kidding me? You can literally go back in time. How is that useless? I don't know, it's just... Neku didn't seem too thrilled about me using my powers. But it's not up to him if I use them or not. It's up to me. Huh? Just what? Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> the river runs all the way through the subterranean tunnel, does right. it not? Yeah, last time I checked. Just as I feared. In that case, this bodes quite ill. What do you mean? Shibuya is after all a valley, and the Shibuya River flows through said valley at its lowest point. So what you're saying is, if it really starts coming down, we're really- we're pretty much screwed, right? Huh? Oh shit. So what, a little rain isn't gonna kill us? Not like we can drown when we're already dead. Speak for yourself, we're technically not dead yet, and I prefer to keep it that way. Oh yeah? I would like to believe we might be spared death's chilly uh -oh. touch, but we cannot be sure uh, would that would be the case. Also, pardon the sudden change of subject, but does anyone else hear that? Hear what? Yeah, that is... what is that? Huh? Izuki, again? Are you alright? You better not have died on me. Yeah, we're okay. That's a relief. What I want you to getting caught up in this mess. What mess? What's happening? Are you blind? Shibuya is getting torn apart. What? It isn't pretty. It's basically already in ruins. <sighs> Shit. Buildings are collapsing, and we're on our tunnel. Huh? What was that? What the hell's going on up there? What's going on? Izuki, are you there? She's not reading my messages. I'm trying to get some info out of him, but he ain't making no sense. He's on Cannon's team. Wanna check it out? Yo, Rindo, this ain't good. I made it out through a hole in the ceiling. It's all messed up out here. No way. What is it? Holy shit, the place is on fire. What? Is that Shibuya? It is, and that must be the sound of the city falling apart. Dude, they're being nuked. <gasps> Did we just die? I think I think we just died. No, he had to go back in time to fix this. <laughs> you might want to avoid using your powers if you can, just to be safe. 
But I don't have any other choice. Besides, my powers have already activated, so I might as well use them. The question is, how far back should I go? Just gotta make sure we don't get stuck underground this time. Replay! This must be right after we arrived in Shibuya stream. Hmm, my Reaper senses aren't exactly tingling. If he's hiding underwater, he's gotta come up for air sometime. Hang on, look over there. It's open. The entrance to the river. And this is where he sends me another selfie. It's from Suzuki. Well, he's hiding underwater, isn't he? Wait, isn't that Shibuya River except, like, the tunnel part? It is, but we can't follow him. Huh? What? Why not? Because it's a trap. Once we go inside, he's gonna seal us inside. Uh. Spoken like a true time traveler. Hmm. Let's just wait outside for now. Something's gonna happen here in Shibuya. Uh, what exactly? I'm not sure, but if we go in there, the city might be destroyed. But ain't we gonna get destroyed too if we standing around out here, yo? I don't know. All I know is Suzuki not in there. I've done everything I can think of. Just gotta hope things turn out better this time. We'll change our fate. I don't know. It might be safer in the tunnel. <laughs> It's porn. Okay, now we just gotta sit tight. Normally we would have gone upstream, but we didn't make it to the first time, did we? Yeah, sorry, I know you said not to use my powers, but I didn't think there was any other way. No, you were right. No point fighting to save a city that's already been destroyed. Sometimes the future is just hard to avoid, even when you can see it coming. You know, I had a few visions back in my day too, but I couldn't tell what they were or how they connected to anything. In the end, I couldn't stop any of them from happening. <laughs> With your powers though, we've got a good shot at ensuring a better future. I guess... It's Suzuki. What'd he say? Don't go... Didn't go... Inside, did you? Meet Mr. At the Expressway. And I'll tell you where. Where she is. To the expressway it is then. Hey, is it raining? Looks like uh. it. Huh, and here I thought this place couldn't get any creepier. Guess you were wrong. Where? It's too quiet. Shit. Don't feel right, yo. Uh. Yeah, this isn't Shibuya. Tis not unrecognizable as the city we once knew. Yeah. Oops. We'll make him tell us where Shiba is. And then we can end this game. He'll, prob he'll probably stay at the underpass. He always said he liked it there. Can't imagine why. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> yeah, his spelling is awful. You found me. And faster than I expected, too. You discs know how to control the board. I'll give you that. Hope the rain didn't give you too much trouble. Big Sue. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but now that you're here, let's go for a round. Aight, skate or die then, yo. It must have taken you a lifetime to perfect that thick skull of yours, bro. Not that long. I ain't start skating until I was at least seven, yo. He's making fun of you, dimwit. What? Try saying that to my face, yo. <laughs> I just did. Anyway, I gotta warn you, wicked twisters. I've gained a tempo since you last saw me. And now that the legend is here, I gotta get serious. Your move, Twisters. Oh, he went full transformation. Sorry, but you're no match for me. We are not engaged. 
cars everywhere. Someone got a makeover. Looks like he really ain't messing around this time. Cars. We have World of Warcraft mechanics in this fight. Oh, he should be dead now. We got a super. Did we win? Twit certainly seems so. Not so fast. Uh oh, this phase two. We didn't, uh, we didn't, uh, calculate phase two. Maybe we should have kept special. He's huge, yo! I don't know if we can handle this. Just look for a weak spot. Can't move. Ah, there's like fucking shit everywhere. Get up, fucking dodge, get up, fucking dodge. Chance, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Humble contribution. Nice work. What's happening? We're getting sucked in. Get your asses out of there. Ow. It's a good thing I decided to keep my healing. I think I actually would have died if I had if I got rid of my healing stuff. Damn. Guess I ain't on my game today. <sighs> 
Shibi is always so friggin' loud. But here, all the voices get drowned out. Kinda calms me down, you know? Can it? We won. You said you'd tell us where he is. So tell us, where's Shiba? Look at you, Shoka. Here with Neku, the living legend himself. And Rindo, leader of the Wicked Twisters. You discs form a more balanced edge than I thought. <laughs> Do me a favor. Take down the boss for me. Will ya? What? He wasn't always like that. He used to be more human. Now he don't care what happens to any of us, even if we get erased. Like we don't even matter. Big Sue. Once he got his hands on those new powers of his, they turned him into a real poison disc. Now he thinks he's God tier. If you had that much of a problem with him, why did you keep following his orders? <coughs> That's what you do with leaders. You follow them, you know? The truth is, I thought I was strong enough, but I was wrong. Strong enough to what? Strong enough to take him down myself. But why? Passing judgment on Shibuya like he's trying to do. Just don't sit right with me. Me neither. Once he started spouting that nonsense, I wanted to sweep him off the board with my own two hands. As a pro. Knock some sense into him, you know? You could have at least told me what you were up to. Why didn't you say anything? Because I didn't think I'd lose to you before I could make my move. <laughs> I guess I sorely underestimated you, Discs. And now it's up to you to take care of him. You know... Part of me wonders if he's just lonely. He's always staring out at the crossing, waiting. You ought to find him somewhere around there. You tried to stick us underground to keep us safe, didn't you? Did I now? You know the Shibuya River's not just any river. <laughs> you really do know this city inside and out, don't you? That river's on its own plane. It's gotta be, seeing as it's still flowing from Shinjuku without a source. And if it survived one collapse, it ought to survive another. Might even let you escape the city altogether, if it came down to it. So I figured, even if I couldn't beat Shiba, you discs could. You weren't trying to trick us, you were trying to protect us. It's all up to you now. Your move, White. Make it count. He called it. Uh, Told him he was gonna go out and try and beat him. <laughs> Looks like it's game over for me. Big Sue. He vanished. And here we thought he was pulling one over on us. Guess he fooled us again. But what about Shiba, though? Brother's lost two friends now. You really think he don't feel nothing, yo? Maybe he can't because of the dissonance. Might have destroyed his heart. Just like it destroyed Shinjuku. We can't let it destroy Shibuya, too. <sighs> well, now we know where he is. It's time to end this, once and for all. We can do this. We've all got each other's backs. Sheba's got no one but himself. Huh? Jeez. I almost feel bad. I mean, it's true. There's no way he can beat us. We got this. Still, Still no response.
Gah, I'm not gonna take it at this rate. I've been comparing the data on Shinjuku with Shibuya's current state, but it still doesn't add up. Something must be missing. So that big bro, it is rhyme. Awesome. I have to go find out for myself. Seeing is believing after all. Oh, Susuki. I'm about to make a real poison move. Stop the boss for me if you can. Don't do anything rash, my friend. Hello. I see Shibuya is in shambles. Ayano and Suzuki have both been erased, and you strayed from his side just like Shoka and Suguma. You should reflect on yourself before speaking of others. Where do you plan to go after Shibuya falls? I am unsure. I may choose to stay here rather than leave. You intend to go down with the city. If my next destination is doomed to meet the same fate, why delay the inevitable? Ah. I see. Hmm? What do you think it is the Shiba seeks? Shibuya offered us refuge in our time of need, yet he has forsaken his new shelter. And his efforts have left him entirely alone. I do not know what his ultimate goal is. Perhaps he intends to ascend to some sort of higher existence. I cannot imagine being begin to imagine. Neither can I, not even after all these years. Hmm? What is it? This is an excellent question. Where indeed? Huh? Another vision. It's the final day. What the? This must be what's gonna happen today. <laughs> the whole city. It's getting erased. Is that the moon? Shit. Shibuya's really gonna be destroyed. Is no. Is Majora's mask I gonna happen? I won't let that happen. The last day. Greetings, sheeple of Shibuya. Got some red hot news for you. The final day is finally upon us. Shibuya's day of reckoning has come! Just listen to that sweet silence settling in over the city. The quiet before the firestorm, if you will. I'm just burning to get started today. But first, a round of applause for the Wicked Twisters. You've made it through the fire, and the goal is just ahead. Now all that's left is for you to mosey on over here. Try not to get burned on your way. Cause once you get here, I'll bring the real heat. <laughs> and with that, I bid you adieu. This is it. The last day. Yeah, indeed. Sure is. So, uh... <sighs> <sighs> Damn! Y'all ain't got much to say? I get it. You're nervous about the big fight. So am I. You sure don't look nervous. Just good at hiding it. You ain't scared. Yeah, I am. The only one who isn't on edge is you. Am too, yo. I'm nervous as hell. Okay, you definitely don't look nervous. I must agree. I bet you don't even know what the word nervous means. Hey, why you gotta call me out like that, Phones? <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing. I know what nervous means, yo. But I ain't feeling too worried. So y'all can just leave it to me. Care to clarify Worms for Brains? Leave what to you? I am unsure even he knows. <laughs> sure is nice having a couple vets on our side, though. Don't you think? Rin, dude? Yeah. We've got to get to Shiba, no matter what. Not like he's gonna let us just waltz up to him, but still. On the upside, at least he's all alone now. 
Most of the Shinjuku Reapers are gone now. And the ones left aren't exactly his biggest fans. I bet they'd be willing to lend us a hand if we asked. Worth a try. We should take all the help we can get. Gonna need it if we want to save the city. Right. Let's go. Take down Shiva. Let's move! All right, let's save. In case I need to farm before the final fight. Um, but I'm just gonna go in. Just gonna charge. And if we do need to farm, we can just reload. How come your right leg started to hurt when you sneezed? I don't know. Did you sneeze and then bang it on something? Hmm. Who are you talking to? None of your business. Is it a girl? Drop it. I I ain't reading it anyway. Rude. You should at least see what they said. Nah, I'm good. It's rhyme. Rated, it, dummy. Suit yourself. This whole thing is just whack, man. I don't even feel like a Shibuya anymore. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. Hard to believe I was hanging around here like normal just a couple weeks ago. It's a completely different city. How goes? How's it hanging, Twisters? Hey, you guys. Hmm. So the rumors were true. You really are back, Bones. In the flesh. Been so long, I almost thought you weren't gonna show up. You all don't look so hot. Are you sure you're up for this? Yeah, we'll be fine. But it'd be a big help if you could take care of the noise in the RG, please. Sure. Not like we've got anything better to do. We're a little short-handed at the moment, but I'll be busting my ass to make up for it. So you better be busting yours to win this game. Yes. We will. I'll hold you to it. Count me in too. I'm gonna fight for Shibuya until I kill over. <laughs> Just be sure to keep your guard up. That Shiba's one tough cookie. Oh. We know. Thanks. Mm hmm. See you when it's over. A real sharp pain? I don't know. Hold up, yo. Ain't that... Coco! Like, hey! My, if it isn't the Wicked Twisters, I'm ever so glad I ran into <laughs> you. Now I can wish you well in person, so good luck out there. Seriously, yo? What you mean, good luck? Yo ass better be helping us erase that noise, yo. Oh, and like, why should I? We're kind of short on numbers here. We could use the help. Oh, but I am helping, dear Neku. Even if some uncouth oak stout my efforts, I'm doing what I can to ensure we all live happily huh? ever after. So, what exactly are you oh, doing? Gee. Uh, can you, like, cool it with the third degree, sis? I've been erasing noise and helping folks I see around town. I'm, like, literally doing so much, okay? Yeah, guess we shouldn't have doubted you. I see. Perhaps. Yet something about her personality strikes me as deeply untrustworthy. Wow, like, harsh much? Anyway, regardless of what you might think, I'm, like, totus commit totally committed to saving the city. So, are you all preparations in order? If you're having trouble with Shiba and Kai, it might, might be able to help. Wait, Kai? Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's what I said. Uh... But what makes you think he can help us? Because he, like, knows a lot about the city and stuff. You can literally do whatever you want. It, but it's, like, probs a good idea to check in with him before you do anything else. Maybe he'll have some intel for us. Well, I haven't the faintest idea what he might know. But it's surely more than a fairy princess that's sure. Okay, we'll check in with Kai. Splendid Furus. Splendid Furus. I believe he's somewhere in Anagawa at the moment. 
That's not too far. Mm -hmm. Let me try messaging him. He's not responding. Maybe he's busy chatting with someone else? He can only really handle one conversation at a time. I think we should just pay him a visit instead. Might as well. Shouldn't take long to get Bye -bye there. Now. Well then, I do believe this is where we part ways. Best of luck to you all, or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Let's move! Hey, is that Hishima? Hey. Greetings. Well met, Wicked Twisters. Hey, so it might be a little late to ask this, but whose side are you on? Rather late indeed. Were I pressed to choose between Shinjuku and Shibuya, I would abstain. My actions are not guided by my allegiance to any particular city. And what actions are you taking now? I am searching for someone. Okay, who? That is none of your concern. You should focus your time and energy on the task before you. I wish you well. He's a Shinjuku Reaper, right? right? Yeah. He used to be right. He used to be Shiba's right-hand man. Even though it sounded like they didn't get along very well. Oh. Yeah. Hishima always kept to himself, watching from afar. And the uh, boar Shiba never really chased after him. Just let him be. As far as I could tell, at least. Who do you suppose Hishima might be searching for then? Maybe Shiba, I guess. But if that's the case, then he should have tagged along with us. Mm. True. Anyway. Like he said, uh, we don't have time to waste worrying about it. We have to hurry. <coughs> Kai! Oh, Shoka, I'm so relieved to see you're okay. You too. Hey, if you're not doing anything, do you think you could help us out? Oh, oh but I am doing something. I'm waiting on a certain someone. Who? One who holds incredible power. A power not of the supernatural ah. variety. Huh, weird. I believe they may be able to offer some assistance, and if we are to save the city, we will need all the help we can find. That said, I worry they might be unable to arrive at our render rendezvous point. If I do manage to meet them, and if they are willing to assist, then I will gladly aid you in your efforts. Thanks a bunch. You are on the way to do battle with Shiba, correct? Yeah, that's the plan. Hey Kai, can you tell us about anything about Shiba's powers? I would if I could, forgive me, but I'll continue to analyze what data I can find. If I come upon any new revelations, you will know right away. Thanks, appreciate it. Are you two done or we are take care and we'll be in well, Shoko. And tell Rindo I would be more than happy to perform any uh, divinations he requires. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let him know. See you around then. Let who know what? Let you know to give Kaye a call if you want another reading. That's good. Hey, um, are you too close? Uh, Why? I... No reason, just curious is all. I mean, we work together, you know, doing Reaper stuff. And sometimes I'd have him tell my fortune. Does that satisfy your curiosity? Yep, totally. Anyway, you could trust him. He's a good guy. Oh, okay, good to know. Well, here we are, back at the crossing. No turning back now. And I ain't going down without a fight, yo. Such would be an unthinkable end to our tale. Rindo. Sheba's tough, but we can beat him. Right, Rindo? Yeah. 
We got this. Shibuya's counting on us. All right, let's go. Oh, you just break in the middle, huh? Well, look who it is. My favorite sheeple. Sheba! I moved all my things here. Thought I could use the extra space. How kind of you to pay me a housewarming visit. I do hope you find it to your liking. Come in, sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Enjoy it while you can. Look at you twisters. Tosai Furusawa. Nagi Usui. Daisuke no Jo Bito. Shoka Sakurane. Neku Sakuraba. And finally, Rindo Kanade. <laughs> you really surprised me, I must say. How so? The game had grown so boring till you came and fired things up. You beat the unbeatable Ruin Bringers, recruited one of my own Reapers, enlisted the aid of the one and only Neku, and made it all the way here in hopes of defeating me like moths to a flame. You might be acting all cocky now, yo, but you know you ain't stand a chance against us. Yeah. And we're not here for your entertainment. We just want to end this stupid game and get the hell out of here. Is that right? Then I'm sorry to disappoint you. You can struggle all you want, but there's no happy ending awaiting you. No, we must prevail for the sake of Alestra. Better focus on one game at a time. Gotta finish this one first. Yeah. Whatever you do, just don't let your guard down. No telling what he's gonna pull with the power of dissonance on his side. Dissonance, you say? Now where in the world did you hear about that? Does it matter? <laughs> no, it doesn't. All that matters is that you're here now. I've been burning to finally meet you, Neku. Ooh. The most famous player in all of Shibuya is within my reach at last. If I can snuff you out here and now, there'll be no one left who can stop me. I can pass judgment on Shibuya without any impediment. <laughs> I scoured the city for you, you know. Even tried to lure you in from the RG with those silly pins. What? That's what you were using these pins for? To find Neku? Yes, ironic. Seeing as he was hiding under my nose this whole time. But my efforts weren't completely wasted. I managed to snag you all instead. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but you weren't without your own merits. Uh, what's happening to him? He's unleashing his true power. Going Super Saiyan. As thanks for getting me so fired up. I'll make your immolation an immaculate one. Listen. Shiba is Shinjuku's most powerful reaper. Ease up even for a second, and we're finished. Oh, heavens help us. No biggie. We just gotta win, yo. Come on. We're ready for you, hotshot. Bring it on! Rindo, don't use your powers unless you absolutely have to. Uh, okay. If they really are connected to the dissonance somehow, there's no telling what consequences they'll have. Right. We keep moving, even if things don't go according to plan. It's tough, but it's for the best. Got it. Let's go. Okay. I can do this. All right. <clears throat> uh, at least I love love during the fight, maybe. Not any certain night experience. So that's a full heal. What the fuck? Shall we begin? Long have I waited this moment. The mere thought of crushing you has got me all fired up. 
Well, it's time to cool off, cause we're ending this game! Do it to me. We're on a roll! Hands up here! Go! Got special. Super. Got it. You ready? I just gotta find him. Oh, there's no way it's over. No way. There's there's more. <laughs> that was too easy. Huh? Where are we? Well, we beat Sheba, which could mean this is the RG. We really made it back. Have you enjoyed yourselves? If so, you'll be pleased to know the real fun is about to begin. I've just about had it with you, yo. I'll be sure to make your final moments truly heartwarming. You're going down in flames! No big 
shield. Special is so broken. It broken. That's not so bad, right? How could this happen? All my plans. Up in flames. But I was the chosen one. How could I lose to the likes of you? We did it. We actually did it. <laughs> wow. We beat the boss. Serves you right for underguessing us, brother. It's game over for you. <sighs> like you said before, we've got to declare a winner. And if you won't say it, then allow me. We win. No. But I'm the executor. Executor? He's gone. I can't believe we actually won. Well, believe it. Now you can finally go home. Oh shit. You're right. Finally! <laughs> well, what about you, Shoka? Are you going back to being a Reaper, or are you coming to the RG too? <sighs> Don't know. Either's fine by me. Well, where do you think you'd end up in the RG? Beats me now that Shinjuku's gone. Maybe I'll wind up in some fancy-ass house. Part of some picture-perfect family. Or maybe not. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Look, Rindo. The truth is... Good work out there, kids! <laughs> you! What are you doing here? Who? Kubo. Like I always say, you gotta expect the unexpected. Be prepared for a future you didn't see coming. And that future arrives 44 minutes and 44 seconds past 4 p.m. <laughs> and now, it's showtime. What's showtime? <laughs> What the? Yeah. <laughs> Devour it all! The barrier, the rapist, the players! Everything! This whole city's getting cleansed. This isn't good! What's up with these birds, yo? Uh, it's you. The dissonance is coming from you. <laughs> nice detective work there, you little punk. <laughs>
The whole city. It's getting erased. Appreciate the help, kid. I really owe you one. I never helped you. Sure you did, every single time you turned back the clock. Couldn't have made all this noise without you. And since Sheba screwed the pooch so badly, I gotta put my backup plan into action. You're not just a Reaper, are you? Oh no! I'm the executor. What? Plot twist, kid! Believe it or not, I'm an angel from a much higher plane than this here, Yuchi. And yours truly has been tasked with executing the inversion! What are you talking about? Ish, in other words, I nudge a few game pieces in the right direction and lead the city towards its inevitable destruction. <laughs> So it was all you. The dissidents? My powers? Everything? Nah, you're getting it. Brought you into the underground, too. You're welcome for that. We angels ain't allowed to interfere with the planes ourselves, you see. So we gotta appoint someone else to do the dirty work for us. You really are the literal worst. So what? You're saying you use Shiba so you could destroy Shinjuku too? <laughs> what? You think going back in time will save the city? Well, I hate to break it to you, kid, but as long as you've got that pin, my noise are inevitable! <laughs> They'll devour Shibuya all over again, just like they did this time. <clears throat> you might have noticed, but I'll spell it out for you just in case. Use your powers again and you'll spawn even more noise! And I just so happen to be the Noise Master! <laughs> Meaning I can make them do whatever I want, whatever it takes to get the job done. And there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. What do we do? I guess Niku was right. About my powers. I shouldn't have used them so much. But... If I don't use them now, then... Gotta use it and destroy the pin or something. That looks painful. I have to go back. If I don't try to stop this, everything will be erased. I have to go back! Hmm. I I don't even know what he could do. It's that vision again. What the? Don't kill the boss. I can't let things turn out this way. <laughs> the whole city. I don't think Sheba would listen. It's getting erased. I have to save Shibuya, no matter what. Greetings, Sheba of Shibuya. 
got some red hot news for you. The final day is finally upon us. Okay. Can I manage to turn, back, turn time? back time? Oh, he's still talking. Now I've got to tell everyone what's going on. How Kubo's the one plotting Shibuya's erasure. How he ripped us from the RG while we were still alive. How he gave me and Shiba our powers to help create all that dissonance. How he's the so-called executor. We'll find a way to deal with Shiba, but Kubo's gotta go. Him. And those ravens of his. Well, this is it. You ready? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I feel that. Uh, as do I. Uh. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Damn. Y'all ain't got much to say? Rindo. Did you turn back time again? Wait, don't tell me something horrible and catastrophic happened. It did. But I also learned something pretty important as a result. I finally know who's been creating all that dissonance we've experienced. You do? Well, don't just leave us hanging. Spit it out already. It's Kubo. The Reaper. He's the one. He's the executor trying to erase Shibuya. Gramps? You mean his scraggly ass ain't dead yet? The Arbiter of Death remains alive. For now, that just means it's up to us to erase him. So if this is a game, does that make him the last boss? Maybe. Guess I was right about there being someone else pulling the strings. Guess so. Even though I don't know who Kubo is. Wait, you don't? Oh, right. You haven't had the pleasure yet. How would you describe him? Quickly. An old asshole. <laughs> I certainly cannot argue. We ought to tell Shiba. That Kubo's an old asshole? More specifically, that Kubo's the one behind all of this. There's no way we can take on the two of them, which is why we need Shiba on our side. Even if we cannot forge an alliance, perhaps he will agree to some sort of truce. Let's just hope he's willing to hear us out. First, we've got to go talk to Shiba. Hopefully we can get through to him. <laughs> We're going again! I wouldn't think he would listen, but I guess maybe. <sighs> We're at the Scramble Crossing, which puts us right before the battle with Sheba. It was a seriously tough fight. I like to avoid a rematch if we can. You might not have noticed, but I'll spell it out for you just in case. If you use your powers again, there'll be even more noise next time. Those noises are going to be even stronger than before. We can't afford to waste my energy fighting Sheba. There must be some way to convince him to put this game on hold. Greetings. Well, look who it is. My favorite sheeple. Well, here goes nothing. Sheba, we need to talk. And do we now? And what is it we need to talk about? Stopping the game. Why? <laughs> There's someone else we need to deal with. Someone bigger than you. We need to save our strength so we don't, we don't want to fight here. <laughs> I thought you might spew some sort of nonsense. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who exactly is this someone else you so desperately seek? One of your reapers, actually. Kubo. He's pulling all the strings. Kubo. I know that because I've seen what he does to the city. What? I'm here from the future. I've already fought you once and won. But after that, Kubo still destroyed Shibuya. He's using you, Shiba. He's using both of you. <laughs> Let's back up a bit. You fought me and won? You expect me to believe that? <laughs> As if I could be so incompetent. I'd say our little conversation has burned out, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Even if you're telling the truth, then all I, ha all I have to do is change the future a bit. <sighs> huh? What Kubo does is of no concern to me. All that matters is that I get what I want and I want to, to destroy you, and all of Shibuya along with it. 
Damn it, we'll just wind up fighting again at this rate. The very, uh, the very thought of losing to you makes my blood boil. So I'll turn up the heat up to full blast this time. This is not going how I hoped it would. Uh, Ringo, you got some kind of plan here? Yeah, try something else. <laughs> I'm running away, are you? Come back when you're ready to bring the heat. Bring the heat. <laughs> Hades used to say that in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> There's no way he'll listen to me, but maybe he will listen to someone else. One of the Shinjuku Reapers? Like Shoka? Okay, that's maybe not the best idea. What about Kaie and Hishima? Hishima is supposed to be on the bad terms with Shiba, so he's out, which leaves Kai. In. I wonder if he's up to it. Only one way to no, I guess we should be able to find him in Andago. We'll change our fate. Okay, should be around here somewhere. Hopefully he knows of a way to stop Shiva. Okay. Shoka, I'm so relieved to see you're okay. You too. Hey, if you're not doing anything, do you think you could help us out? Oh, but I am doing something. I'm waiting for a certain someone. Um... Kaye? Listen, we need your help. Huh? How can I assist? Are you in needing of a reading? Not exactly, we need to talk to Shiba. We can't afford to fight him right now, and we need him to understand that. I know who's really behind the plot to destroy Shibuya. It's Kubo. He said something about being an angel and the executor. Aww. Shiba's just one of Kubo's pawns, and we need him to understand that. Aww. So it truly is Kubo. I had my suspicions. After all, I was aware of his continued presence in Shibuya. An al analysis of his soul told me as such. Huh? You analyze the soul? Huh? Dude, what's he saying? The realms of data and spiritually are remarkably similar at first glance. And as it happens, a soul can be parsed in much the same way as data. Unfortunately, this is only true to a certain extent. I have dedicated years to finding and testing the limits of studies of the soul. Uh -huh. Kubo was something of a curious case from the start. He possessed very little existential data that I could find. I have been meaning to study him in more depth for some time. So what you have told me is illuminating to say the least. If he truly is an angel or executor that would make him from a higher plane than can be known to us. But I'm afraid I would need much more time than we have to do further analysis. That's fine, what about Shiba? Can you help us out with him? I can only think of one reaper who could persuade him to alter his course of action. Hishima. What? How could Hishima help? By fighting Shiba or something? No, of course not. Oh. Those two were the ones the closest of friends. Seriously? Yes, but their relationship soured after Shiba obtained his new powers. It seems that Hishima has been keeping his distance ever since, but I highly doubt he has abandoned all feelings he once held for his friend. Wow, that's a... Uh... That's perfect! We like literally just saw him over by Tipsy Tozy Hall. Be warned, Hishima will not be so easily convinced. I am uncertain if he will agree oh. to help you. We'll have to give it a shot. Tipsy Tozy Hall then. Wait, didn't he wander off somewhere after we saw him? Yo, kitty girl, can you drop him a line? I doubt that it will work. Hishima isn't in the habit of checking his Lord messages. Rindo. Lord Rindo, you are presently traversing through time, are you not? Yeah, I can make another stop and go back to when we ran oh. into him. Awesome, you go Rin, dude. With a bit of luck, you should be able to change what happens next. Although, if you do, what means we won't come here or have this conversation. I wonder what will happen to us, the us here and now that is. The soul is merely a container full of energy. I suspect that energy will be collected and stored elsewhere. Wait, that sounds a lot like what Kubo was saying. If we stopped existing in one timeline, our old energy feeds the millions. No use worrying about that now, I guess. I have to get back to when we talk to Hishima. Sure hope we can get help. All these timelines, and they all probably die over and over and over again. <laughs> Okay, we're back in front of Tipsy Tozy Hall on our way to Undergawa. 
This is when we ran into Shima. Time to convince him to convince Shiva to pause the game. Quay? Hey, is that... <coughs> Yashima, Dreams. hey. Well met, Wicked um... Twisters. Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. And what might that be? Rindo, what are you doing? I need to ask you for a favor. We're on our way to confront Shiva. Logical, considering this is the final day. But we can't afford to fight him. Because now we know who's really trying to destroy Shibuya. Kubo, I presume? Huh? How did you... Yes. So I was right. After eliminating the impossible, he was the only one remaining. Although he never did leave enough evidence to make a final determination. Okay, so can you talk to Shiba for us? We need him to put the game on hold so we can take care of Kubo. It can't be done. Wow, didn't even have to think about it. You won't even try? As I'm sure you are aware, Shiba and I are on exceptionally bad terms. Our presence would only serve to provoke him further. Yeah, Hishima is like the worst person for the job. I don't think so, seeing as they were best friends before all this. What? Whoa, for real? <sighs> that was ages ago. It has no bearing on the present. I'm afraid you'll have to find someone else to help you. And I do hope for it. I do hope it goes well for you generally. I hate to see Shibuya go up in flames. So much for that. Indeed, his unwillingness to assist was both clear and absolute. Damn, how are we supposed to change Shiba's mind? There must be someone else, someone who knows something that can help. So where should I go next? There's gotta be something we can do somewhere. We'll change our fate! Okay, I'm back at Tokyo Plaza. Does something important happen at this point? Something that could change the future? Let's move! We didn't run into anyone around here, did we? Maybe there's something I can do, but what? Huh? What? Hmm. Who are you talking to? None of your mm -hmm. business. Is that a girl? Drop it. I, I ain't reading it anyway. Rude. Let's just at least see what they said. No, I'm good. Oh yeah, this part. I almost uh, forgot about it. Wait a minute. Who is B talking to? Or not talking to, I guess. One of the Shibuya Roofers? If it is, it'd be some nice it'd be nice to get some help from them. Beat! Huh? So are you messaging one of the Reapers? Nah man, not a Reaper. It's my little sis. You have a sister? One who currently resides in the underground no less? Oh dang, you're right. So uh that means she's de she ain't dead and she ain't in the UG neither neither. Then how can you talk to each other? Hell, how does she even remember you? Don't know, but she's been in the UG before with me when I was playing my first game. After that, when Shinjuku got wiped out, can't explain it, but we just knew. So maybe she just knows something's up this time too? Huh? That doesn't explain how she can contact you. She did some weird hacker shit. Don't ask me, yo. You have a hacker sister? Yeah, and now she keeps sending me shit. Our story's cast of colorful characters continues its expansion. At least you can keep in touch with her from here. So is hacking her thing now? Guess so. She's good at it anyway. Got all kinds of help from her up until now. But that's gotta stop. I wanna keep her out of this mess, right. you know? Yeah, she's safe and sound in the RG. We should try and keep Hi. it that way. Word. She's the one stuck in the UG. Uh, we're the one stuck in the UG, so it's up to us to take care of things. Yeah, it is up to us. We can't easily uh, give up easily. We're going again. Get some info from Coco. Huh? Oh, yo. Coco. Like hey. <laughs> um. Hey Coco. Huh? What is it, Rin Rin? You look like you have something important to say. The thing is, I'm actually here from the future. Omg. 
and I know who's pulling the strings and trying to destroy Shibuya. It's Kubo. You mean that musty, dusty, crusty old cretin? That's him. Anyway, we need to save our strength to fight him. And to do that, we have to convince Shiba to... <coughs> Is that so? Best of luck to you, then. Uh, thanks. We all have very important business to attend you, so I'll do mine and you do yours. Right. You know? Shiva isn't the most agreeable fellow. Uh, tell me about it. Oh, but I shall. He isn't the sort of who want, who can be convinced of anything, I think. Not without putting up a fight. You may find it easier just to take him out along with Kubo. Maybe. I just thought it'd be easier to at least try to talk to him. Oh, well, if you think it's worth a try, then far be it from me to stop you. Oh, dear. Would you look at the time? I best be off. Off where? Off to do my part to save Shibuya, you dimwit. So make sure you do yours, too. Bye-bye now. Right. That was less than helpful. We'll change your fate. Back on Castro. This is where we talk to them. Blah blah blah. How goes? Hey you guys, so the rumors were true. You really are back, Holmes, <laughs> in the flesh. Been so long, I almost thought you weren't gonna show up. Y'all don't look so hot, are you um, up for this? Uh, we're fine, but we know who's really behind the plot uh, to destroy Shibuya. Oh? It's uh, Kubo. Kubo? I thought he was out of the picture. Fortunately not, he's still around, and it's because of him that I can go back in time. Hmm. Well, fancy that. Must be from a higher plane then. Huh? Figures, everyone up from up there is some kind of weirdo. He fits right in, let me tell you. So I can't say I'm surprised. Oh. Uh, huh? So you're playing you're paying us a visit from the future, huh? Which means you already failed once. Yeah, Kubo was just using me, Shiba too. What? Even the game master? Yeah, which is why we need to avoid fighting him and focus on our real enemy. Kubo's got a whole army of noise and we need to be at full strength if we want to stand a chance. And we better, uh, we're better off with Shiba on our side. Is there anything you can do to help? Anything like what exactly? You want us to fight him or something? Mm -hmm. Rare of you to throw out such a half-baked suggestion. Oh, so you have a better idea? Maybe I mean, obviously, the best course of action would be to get Shiba on your side. Fat chance of that happening, so you'll have to settle for the next best thing. Have you tried getting him to call off the fight? Well, we tried enlisting someone's help, but someone as in who? That fortune teller guy? Um, actually, it was Hashima. Hashima? You thought that Flake would do you a favor like that? Hang on, Ringdo. Hashima and Shiba can't stand each other. Not now, but according to Kai, they used to be friends. Hmm. Oh? Seriously? <laughs> Gets her every time. <laughs> yeah, which is why we need to need his help. Why well, asked him, but he refused. You think we're gonna be able to go back in time and stop them from getting in an argument or something? Like, way back? <laughs> now that you mention it, I did hear he was the number two guy back in Shinjuku. I don't think so either, but <laughs> I don't know how, you're how are they supposed to do this. Must have been real close to Shiba, real partners in crime. Kaya said if we want to win Shiba over, Shiba's our best shot. That asshole. Things go south with your partner, and then that's it. You just act like you don't care anymore? Huh? Who are you calling? Come on, pick up, you coward. Hello. Yeah, it's Ushiki. Am I speaking to Hishima? What? Oh, oh. Stop being so pig-headed. He was your friend, right? Get in there and sort him out. You're the only one who can, and you know it. Huh? Don't play dumb. I don't. I know you know what I'm talking about. Brindo, didn't you say you talked to him? Yeah, but I sort of went back in time after that to get here. So I haven't technically talked to him yet. Why can't you just do things in order that makes sense? Sorry. Alright, listen up. The Wicked Twisters are on their way to pay you a visit. They're gonna ask you for a favor. They need you to get Chiba and put the game on pause. Kubo is just using him, you know. You're gonna sit back and let that happen to your partner? To your friend? If it were me, I wouldn't be able to bear it. So what'll it be? gonna step up and help your friend or act like it's not your problem up to you um 
Well, what are you waiting for? Get your asses over to wherever Hishima is. He should be a little more willing to listen than last time. Okay. Rindo, Naku, all of you. We ain't even worth naming. Go save Shibuya. We will, thank you. So, what did Hishima say? That it would be irresponsible to leave things as they are. It took him long enough to realize. Can you imagine being played like that? And then having everyone just abandon you like you're nothing? That would be too much. Yeah, bet it would. We're going again! Hey, is that Kashima? Hey. I'm not exactly certain what you're here to talk about. What I am certain of is that you, Rindo, know far more than you should. I've seen a lot. With the power of time travel, presumably. Yeah, please, we need you to talk to Shiba. You guys are friends, right? Or at least you used to be. What made- what happened yes. to make you so- Our paths diverged, that is huh? all. What's that supposed to mean? It means that he changed and I declined to change with him. You had just become a reaper at the time, so perhaps you do not remember. Once he obtained his strange new powers, he was different. I had intended to watch over him from afar, as a friend might do. But as soon as I soon found it, found it worth, eh, I soon found it wasn't worth the effort. I concerned myself with Shiba no longer. Huh? What? So you just stopped caring? At any rate, I highly doubt I will be able to convince him of anything. But seeing as the situation is rather dire from all perspectives, I find myself willing to hear him. So you help us? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll change our fate. Greetings. Well, look who it is. My favorite sheeple. Listen, we need to talk. Oh, I can't imagine about what. Hello. The kid asked you to listen. Hashima. And to what do I owe the pleasure, old friend? Those impressive new powers of yours. What about them? Around the time you acquired them several years ago, you also made contact with a certain something, or someone as it were. All the while completely descent of their true nature. What? Which would yes. be... One far different from the deity you once revered them as. You fell at the feet of an idol like you, like an utter fool. Uh -uh. How scathing. And I thought Shiba didn't pull any punches. Are you here to enlighten me or just get me hot under the cuff? Hmm. The former. The latter is merely a bonus. Speaking of the man who flattened you into fancying yourself the executor. Your subordinate, Tenso Kubo. <gasps> Kubo? You were blinded by psycho, psycho fancy. Why, he pulled the wool over your eyes and then led you by the nose. <laughs> Kubo gave me these powers? Oh, why? To help him erase Shinjuku. And now he set his sights on Shibuya. Come to your senses already, Shiba. Any longer and I won't be able to with him withhold my laughter. I ain't no expert or nothing, but I don't know if this guy's taking the right approach here, yo. Well, who else did you have in mind? Huh. That's quite the allegation, but do you have any proof? Why should I believe a word you're saying? We didn't say any of it, Kubo did, in the future. And then I came back here to tell you, using the powers you gave me. So you've already done this before. All we're asking is that you agree to call a truce for now. Just give us a little time, you'll see. If nothing happens, then battle you. Then we'll battle you for Shibuya, just like you want. <laughs> I could be amenable to those terms. Very well. We'll put this little game on pause for the time being. But the clock is ticking, and once time runs out, any time will resume. That's fine, as long as you'll wait. So, Neku, are we good to go right. now? As good as we can be, given the circumstances. Only one way to find out if it's enough. Right. Only a little longer. Now to change our fate. Mm. 
sometimes increases the groove earned from beat drop combos performed by Neko and Ren. Cool. Another Uber Pin. Pin multi build allows you to equip an extra pin assigned to the same button as another. I already have that, I thought. Another Uber Pin. Increases your maximum number of pin decks by one. I don't know what that means, but I'm taking it. Sometimes it increases the groove earn. Yes. All right, so we get faster groove, and we can use lots of uber pins, and we can multi wheel. You know. We can use every pin. All right, what's this? It's a one-time use. Kyo Blaze. Takes so long to recharge. Fuck no. Dude, it's Kamehameha. Who would I give that to? R2. Is anyone using an R2 button right now? No. I could give that to her. Her? Her just does so much damage, though. Hmm. That's a tough decision. Huh. This is all tough. I think I'm fine with my setup. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna keep what I got. For if we lose, we can change some trailer stuff. We're going again. Save the city for sure. Any minute now. Not but to wait. Ain't no telling what's gonna happen, yo. Brace yourselves. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, you kids are on your best behavior, I see. <laughs> ha! Took a little extra time to get ready, eh, Rindo? And look at you, Sheba. Listening to your new master. I always appreciated your obedience. Made things real easy for me. We're about to make them quite difficult. Oh, it's too late for that. You was already lost. Your fate was sealed the second this pipsqueak turned back time. You see, that noise is born from temporal distortion. Distortion created when you turn a what-if hypothetical into will-be history. And all the cognitive energy from the would-have-been history... ...gets replaced with a brand new set of thoughts. <laughs> but you see, now that old cognitive energy's got nowhere to go. It's just waste. Waste that multiplies every single time you turn back the clock! If you thought that noise gave you a good beating the last time around, Ooh, just swallow. wait till you see it now. You kids are in for a whole world of hurt. I ain't hearing all that noise. Only one who's in for a world of hurt is you. Yeah, Gramps. What he said. Meh. Puck is cheap. The figured hour is fast approaching. 
Come on, Rindo. Let's do this. There's no way I'm letting a slime ball like him erase this city. Yeah. Our city isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Count it down with me, kids. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come on out. <laughs> Should have, should have destroyed the pin. <laughs> so, what do you kids feel like playing with today? How's about this one? Ready? Yeah, let's do this. I've got this. Leave it to me. Short of a high tier terror. Yeah, something like that. I'd hate to see what else they can turn into. It's open. Yes, got it. We're on a roll. Nice one, Nagi. Thank you. Leave it to me, yo. I'm impressed. Come on! Hang in there! So far, so good. Let's keep it going! Yes! Got it! We're on a roll! Bless my humble contribution. That was great. Leave it to me, yo! I'm impressed. Come here! Gotcha! Time to get wild! Just not too wide. It's over. Bring, bring your pain, yo. Don't be ah! A lot of fucking damage. into zone. I'm 
don't know what else to do. They won't die. I concur. They're badly overpowered. Was all this really for nothing? <sighs> These are far tougher than the ones I created. I can't even erase them. How's it looking, Hishima? Inauspicious, I'm afraid. Just hang on! Worry about the others, not me. Though I fear it may already be too late. Glad we could reconnect, old friend. Your fatuity never fails to make me smile. No! Curse these noise! Sheba's gone. So's Hishima. Uh, yo, bones! If we sync up, maybe we can. Uh, beat! Don't sweat, yo. I ain't going down that easy. Hey, Nagi, Fred, you good? Not at all! Help me! Fred! Oh, Vinny, you died. No. There goes Ella. Damn it! These things are beyond us. There's gotta be another way. This ain't good! Beat! Beat! Neku! We can't change time. We already changed. They're gone. Neku, B, Nagi, Fret, all of them. And turning back time would just make the noise even stronger, wouldn't it? Rendo? Here I was, thinking we could finally play together in person. Huh? Fango. She, she swallowed. The new update ought to be out by now, right? How do you even know that? Uh, because we've been playing together for ages. Didn't mean to go AWOL on you, though. My bad. Wait. Does that mean you? I'm sorry I never replied to you. After I left the Reapers, they suspended my account. Anyway, later. No! Then there was one. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you won't be needing that anymore. <laughs> the game's over, kid. And now... So Shibuya!
the fuck? Mini Miyoto? What was that? No. Huh? What happened? Oh, excuse me. It's okay. Did we just bump into each other? No way. Oh. Mom. No way. I'm home. I'm back in the RG. But how? Uh. Wait. Hold on a sec. Oh no. Where's Fret? He's gone. How many last days are there? I'm the only one who made it home. My chat app's back to the way it was before the game started. Except for the fact that Fret isn't in it. Nobody from school remembers him. And he's missing from my contacts. Same with Nagi. And Beat. And Neku. Everyone. They're just gone. Shoka, too. Even her alt's gone. Like it never existed. There's thousands of people around me, and yet, I'm all alone. I thought that, if I went back in time, I could save the city. And technically I did. Just not the way I wanted to. Was everything I did all for nothing? Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Hmm. Joshua? Man, it's a real concrete jungle out there, wouldn't you say? What? You know, wild. I... Well, to be completely honest with you, neither do I. It's my first time here, and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. Think you could show me around, friend? Totally sounds like I'm uh, a bit busy here. Looks so if different. If earlier's though. better, I could take us back an hour or two. <gasps> what did he just say? I'm kidding. If only. Uh, yeah. But seriously, if you could spare a sec, I'd love to get a taste of your life here. Sorry, who are you? Oh, me? Hazuki Mikagi. I don't know who that is. Call me Haz. So, where do we start? Lead the way, friend. What's this guy's deal? Is he a player? That crosswalk looks like a promising place to begin. To me, at least. What do you think? Something feels off here. Uh-huh. Hmm...
I don't have beat. I can't do flips and shit. I gotta walk. Say, friend. How do you know someone's special to you? Uh, you miss them when they're gone and want to help them when they're in trouble? Man, this place makes me go sort of special or cat, cat street. Mm -hmm. There's people. And that's lead the way. Sure. I hate that they talk so fast. <clears throat> I must say, emotion. What about you, friend? Uh, what about me? How do you feel about things? Well, or whatever, I guess. I want to go that far. I don't know. Interesting. Of course, it's rather. Oh, by the way. A yellow building caught my earlier entire records. Perhaps you have a closer look. <laughs> Come go right there. Sure. <laughs> Say, friend, what does respect mean to you? Never give it much thought. Don't you have someone to admire? Uh, not really. Uh, how interesting. What does respect for me mean? It could be some kind of criteria. Say, anything. friend. My friend, anything of notes, parkas, the hill. Okay. Hey friend, how do you handle a crisis and turn well, and run, or do you stand and fight? Depends, I guess. Sure did a lot of fighting here, although we didn't have a choice. Certainly, it sounds quite lively. I'm not going to probably Center Street, if I'd guess. It's really right there. Like playing games? Definitely not a fan of the Reaper scheme, generally speaking at least. You don't need to single out a genre or platform. Let me fans go, uh, send me requests. That was all fascinating, and if you don't mind, I'd like to explore a bit more. Like hmm. to explore yourself? I'm more easily the tour guide. Of course you would. Hmm. Question, friend. Are things you say in your head different than things you say out loud? I mean... Sometimes, yeah. Speaking of which, this is where I got my infiltration. Uh, what's up ahead? That's odd, I go on. Oh, you know the sea likes to back of your hands. Interesting. Oh, you must really love it here. Love it here, huh? I'm not so sure anymore. Not yet. I want to see what makes this city so great. I mean, if you haven't seen it already. Fair enough. And it's not like we're having a stimulating conversation either. What's the point? Well, I'm pretty drained. I think I'll call it a day. Okay, Rendo. Hmm? Uh, how does he know my name? But while I've got you, I should take this chance to apologize. For what? For Kubo. He's a real piece of work. Kubo? Yeah. Wait. Kubo? You see, I originally sent him to Shinjuku. He was tasked with cleansing the city, and he completed his mission. Cleansing? What, like a janitor? The thing is, he didn't stop there. He got a little overzealous and tried to cleanse Shibuya too. He's always been something of an overachiever. I've taken care of him though, so I hope you can forgive me. Taken care of him? How? 
Uh, hold on. Who the hell are you? Hazuki. But please, call me Haz. That's not what I mean. Who are you that you made Kubo destroy Shinjuku and then erased him for overstepping? Well, not destroy, cleanse. And I didn't erase him, I exorcised him. Like a demon? As I said, Kubo crossed a line. And for that, I wish to apologize. I have punished him, and erased his noise, and even kept this city of yours from harm. That light... He really was the one who stopped Kubo back there. Although I must say, I probably wouldn't have come here otherwise. Tell me, Rindo, what is it that you like so much about this city? What makes it so special? Why fight so hard to protect it? I don't know. Doesn't feel very special right now. Definitely not compared to how it felt before, at least. Honestly, I can't think of a single thing I like about this city anymore. I don't get it. You went through all that trouble. Seems to me like you got what you wanted. I guess I did. I thought I did. But this Shibuya isn't the one I fought for. It's different. I see. How about this? What if you could turn back time and try again? Would you do it? Uh... Or are you content to leave things as they are? Uh... Why do you ask? Take a look at that pin of yours. <gasps> you can go back if you wish. Everything will return to the way it was, including the noise. Once the time strikes, it'll emerge stronger than before. And when it does, you and your friends will have to erase it yourselves. Just us? Yep, you're on your own this time. I've already done what I can to make amends for what happened here anymore, and then I'd be the one overstepping. Sure, this is it. I've got one last chance to get it right. If I don't, then Shibuya gets erased for good. Hell, I might even end up right back where I started. Hmm. I saved so many innocent people. Only to put their lives on the line again. <laughs> and what do we do about that noise? If we were barely hanging on before, then there's no way we stand a chance now. If I were you, I wouldn't bother turning back time even if I could. It's too risky. Oh. That said, I also don't understand what about this city makes it so special, but you do. And if you think that something is truly worth fighting for, then perhaps turning back time and trying again is worth the risk after all. Maybe. Shibuya's already been fated for destruction once before, a fate undone by the very power available to you now. In that sense, it's safe to say the decision is yours. I can't decide just like that. <laughs> well, if you won't decide, I guess I will. What? We'll just leave things the way they are now. That feels appropriate. Would you go back or would the you? The city is safe, as are its citizens. W wait a second. Would you, would you, you now stand between two planes? Try to live the way it is. and death. When you're ready, pitch that pin and you'll return to the RG for good. I probably go back. I should probably head back myself. My work here's done after all. Thanks again for the tour. See you, Rindo. Wait. Has wait. What's up? I made my decision. I'm doing it. I'm going back. This time, I'm gonna save the city, and my friends. Without them, all of this means nothing. Shibuya isn't special without them here! Uh-huh. Thanks for fixing the pin, and for giving me another chance. I won't waste it. I promise. I hope you don't.
As I said, the decision is yours. But with that decision comes responsibility. You've decided to once again expose this city to the threat of erasure. And to that end, you're now responsible for protecting this city from harm once more. I will. I promise. Only time will tell. I'll be watching. He sounds like Joshua to me. Oh, I'm surprised he's some kind of connection to him. Thanks, Haz. getting erased this time neither is the city just hang in there together we'll change our fate what else do we do Shibuya is on the verge of destruction. What the? But I won't let that happen. <laughs> the whole city. It's getting erased. I won't let that be our future. Greetings, sheeple of Shibuya. Got Day some red hot news for you. The final day is finally upon us. Day seven. Shibuya's again, day again, of again, again, again. Has come. Again. Can't turn back now. Even if I wanted to. Gotta make it count. Well, this is it. You ready? Yeah. Think so. Uh, as do I. Listen. I've got to tell you all something. Okay. You see, I'm here because I turned back time. Oh? Does that mean we didn't make it? You didn't. But I wasn't going to accept that. Saving the city doesn't mean a thing if there's no one here to enjoy it with. So we're going to save Shibuya, and nobody's getting erased this time. In other words, some among us were erased last time? Yeah, unfortunately. Which is exactly why I decided to come back. And believe me, I'm really glad that I did. But the real fight is still ahead. And this time, it's gonna be even tougher. How come? Am I forgetting a special Reaper rule or something? The noise that spawns when you turn back time, that's the real threat. Right. It grows stronger every time I use my powers. Which means coming back here made it even worse. Who the hell would come up with something so whack, yo? Kubo would. Who? Oh, right. You haven't had the pleasure. Hold your phone, yo. Kubo? I've no recollection of that name. What? Was he one of your guys? No. At least I don't think so. Although, I feel like I know that name somehow. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I think I do too. Nobody remembers who Kubo is. He killed him. He killed Nobody him. Nobody except me. But why? Although, I guess I forgot too. Technically. Wait. Kubo? I didn't erase him. I exercised him. So that's what he meant by exercised. He removed Kubo from this world entirely. How am I supposed to explain that? Uh, you okay there? Uh huh. So then, oh, yeah. Who's well, gonna be there to avoid this bad future you saw? Spawn Not the noise from bad. my pin. Then it was the worst. If we want to succeed, we'll need all the help we can get. Just gotta think it through. 
plan it all out and team up to take him down. Him? You mean Kubo? Yeah, it's not about Shibuya or Shinjuku anymore. The game's over. So what is it about? The executor. He's not here anymore, but he's our real enemy. It's all of us against his noise. Okay. If you say so, it must be true. I'm with you. <sighs> Good. Right, that's the sister of Rhyme. Still can't believe she hacked her way into the RNS. She's gotta have some pretty mad skills to manage that. Wait, wasn't Kai the one who designed the RNS? Huh? Uh, yeah, why? That's what I thought. Did you hear me? Oh, oh but I am doing something. I'm waiting on a certain someone. And that means the person Kai was waiting for. The one who holds incredible power. A power not by the supernatural variety. Beat. That's your sister texting you, right? Uh. Rhyme, right? Ah, how the hell do you? Oh, right, future. Yeah, isn't she the one responsible for hacking the RNS? Wait, fracking? Oh no. Fascinating. Not that. I mean, yeah, she might have done that. Damn. She ain't giving me all the details. Just told me she's in. Seriously, yo? Uh, now she's saying she's finally meet with the development or something. Sounded sketchy to me, so I told her not to, yo. I believe they may be able to offer some assistance, and if we are, are to save the city, we will need all the help we can find. B, I think your sister wants to meet up with Kai. For real, yo? Yeah, for real. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to devise a plan to save Shibuya. For real? For real? Yeah, Kai has been waiting for Ryan for a while now. He mentioned how she's got incredible powers and how he needs her help in order to save the city. I mean, she is pretty powerful, but I already told her to stay away, man. Her and Shiki both told him it's too dangerous here. Right. You're not entirely wrong. And even if they did make it here, who's gonna protect them? We got noise to raise and shit, and I ain't gonna put them in harm's way, yo. Not again. But she told me she just arrived at the station. Dang, that was fast. She said she's on her way to a dog mm. yo. Can we at least get someone to escort her there? Someone in the area? Near the <sighs> station? Uh, actually, we're gonna meet Coco at the Tower Records later. Pixie chick? Calm down, she's on our side now. I spent enough time with her back in Shijuku <sighs> to know. Alright, if you say so, man, let me ask her. Must be pretty dependable if she's her nephew's trust. Hmm. It's more likely that she trusts him, which is why he can ask a favor as such. Were we to, to attempt the same, we would be doubtless dismissed with a laughable and a bye bye Or so I believe. Okay. Took a little cajoling, but she's in. Told her to take Ryan to meet with Kaede. Why is he making her walk all the way to Andagawa, yo? He's ought to at least meet her somewhere closer like Dog and Zaka. I'm gonna have to tell him, tell him to meet her halfway instead. Okay. Before we met up with Kaya at Adagawa, and now he and Ryan are set to rendezvous with Dagazawa, which means we should head there next. 
We're going again. Dude, I don't have enough buttons. You can't give me more party members. Okay, made it to Daganzaka. Ryan and Kai should have met up by now. Now I just gotta find him. October 2016. What about October 2016? Oh. I'm pretty sure I joined Snapchat 2021. I don't I don't care about social media. Beat. Rhyme. Ah, uh, I like rhyme. Whoa, 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 hold on a sec. That's Beat's sister? Fascinating. My. Uh-huh. What you trying to say, yo? <laughs> Hello there. Hey there, Rhyme. The name's Tosai Furosa, but my friends call me Fred. My name's Raimu Bito. <laughs> but you can call me Rhyme. And you two must be Rindo and Nagi, I presume. That's me. Pleased to meet you. Hmm, I only spy four of you. Where are Naku and Shoka? Uh, right here. Yeah, how come you're acting like you can't see him? Actually, I don't think she can. You're all still alive, but not us. Me and him are part of the UG now. I couldn't see Coco or Kai either. But Coco sent me messages through Reaper Creeper. And Kai just texted me like always. Reaper Creeper? A divination game in which a coin moves across a piece of paper of its own accord. Uh... Like a Ouija board, yeah. Oh, like one of those Ouija boards or whatever. Gross! You got a you got a lot of nerve asking a favor at a time like this. I'm a super busy lady, you know. I know. I'm sorry. Now. Sorry, Shmori. You're lucky. I do just about anything to save Shibuya anyway. Later. Oh. Hi there, Rindo. Rhyme and I are working are hard at work analyzing our foe. We've discovered some strange entities lurking in Shibuya. Entities bearing an eerie resemblance to our own spiritual energies. Yeah, about that. I think those are the noise that spawn when I use my powers. More of them appeared each time I turned back the clock. And I'm pretty sure even more will appear next time we face. All signs point to yes, unfortunately. Our data should be the only information that exists here. But it seems there's corrupted data hidden throughout the city. And it is thus now our job to get that data under control. But now, how do we do that? Hey! Uh, are you talking with Kai? I don't know if... I would call what I, we found corrupted data like he does, but whatever it is, there sure is a whole lot of it. And that's what we's up against? I'm afraid um, so. And as it stands, we're sorely outnumbered. Be. W w which suggests our odds of success are nigh non-existent. Well, Kai and I are gonna try to brainstorm a way to get rid of some of the data. Two heads are better than one after all. In the meantime, we'll need you to recruit as many people as you can to help. Well, prepared is well-armed, as they say. Uh, who's they, yo? Her intellect, her yeah, intellect is most impressive. Hey, Neku. <sighs> hey, Ron. Not like she can hear me. Hey, you hear phone? You hear phones just now? No, unfortunately. But I can kind of tell what he's saying from the look on your face. <laughs> what a relief that you two managed to find each other. Once this is all over, we'll bring you back to life, Lickety Split. Here's hoping. I know Shiki can't wait to see you either. So you better not let her down, okay? I won't. Said he won't, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So Rhyme and Kai are gonna come up with a way to erase the noise. And it's our job to find people who can help us fight back. But who can we ask? Shiba, I guess? Calling off the game's already a bit big ask, but convincing him to team up too, no, that'll be tough. It's funny. I never thought I'd have a Reaper asking me for help. Nor did I imagine an RG dweller could infiltrate the RNS. You have certainly proven yourself a force to be reckoned with. It would be foolish of me not to request your aid. If you say so. Um but still, you're full of surprises. You'd think a Reaper wouldn't be so eager to help my brother and his team. 
let alone go so far as to stand up against the game master. Are you sh sure you want to do this? Oh. Yes, I must. If I am to realize my dream of digital digitality, digitally archiving every possible phenomenon, that's one heck of a dream. Your assistance in data analysis has been invaluable. To think we've managed to explain even this phenomenon. And there is still work to be done in regards to Shinjuku, although nothing is left of it but data. Not to mention the alert of examining Shibuya's unique files. I wish for nothing more than to continue analyzing and archiving as much data as possible. You're with us then? Indeed oh. I am. I'm glad. <laughs> and I hope your dream comes true. Many thanks, Ryan. Now let's get to work, shall we? No! Oh, come on, I can't do this yet. We'll change your fate! Alright, made it to Tizzy Hall. Next order of business is finding Hishima and enlisting his help. If anyone can persuade Shiba to join our cause, it's him. Hey, is that Hashima? Hey, well met, Wicked Twisters. Um. Hi, Hashima. I want to talk to you about something. Your expression suggests that something is rather unpleasant. I've already received word from the Shibuya Reapers asking to suspend the game. Has the situation changed? Sort of. You see, I turned back huh. time again. Ah, uh, I see. Which means your plan was unsuccessful. Were my persuasive powers insufficient in changing Shiba's mind? No, not at all. You actually did a great job. Thing is, it wasn't enough. We're gonna need you to convince him to join our cause. Quite the tall order. I know, but do you think you can give it one more try? Technically speaking, this would be my first attempt. I shall try, but enlisting his aid will doubtless huh? be difficult. You think so? Indeed. I have not seen him cooperate once in all the years I've known him. <laughs> no, I just... Questionable comedic timing. Yet, while I may be able to persuade him to halt his actions, persuading him to change his actions is entire different beast now. But I, uh, but I were only able to import a new idea in that stubborn head of his. That would certainly make things easier. If you could find someone to show him the error of his ways, then perhaps there is hope yet. But who could do that? Sugumi, presumably. She's been at his side longer than most. Unfortunately, however, I have no idea where you might find her now. Hmm. Coco should be... Coco should be keeping her safe somewhere. Not sure how much she'll be able... She'll be given Mr. Mew's current state. But I can try reaching out to Coco. Oh. What is it? Yeah, tell us. Might need your help right now. Uh, with what? Remember when we asked Coco to escort Ryan to her meeting with Kai? And Coco just happened to be in the area? Well, the reason she was there is because she was waiting for Shiki. Shiki? Isn't she that sure. your fr friend of yours? Yeah. The one who brought Mr. Mew to life. Apparently Coco was going to take Shiki to Sugumi and have her fix the doll. If we can get her to do that, then Sugumi should be free from her plushy prison. Which means we might be able to ask her for help. Except Coco's not there anymore. She left to go take Ryan to see Kai. Maybe we could find someone else to keep Ryan safe? We're going again. <laughs> How do you make this? Whose idea? How do you get this idea? Here we go again. Hopefully for the last time. Time traveling is going to be so difficult. <laughs> Wait, B. Your sister Brian's coming to meet Kai. They've been working together now as they're trying to give us a fighting chance. Oh, they is? Wait, how the hell do you know about my sister, yo? Alright, oh, future. Exactly, and I know we need your sister's help. That's the only way we'll be able to erase the noise. She's supposed to meet up with Kaede somewhere in Daganzaka. And I'm going to find someone who can escort her there. Keep her safe. <sighs> I told her it's too dangerous to come back here, but it, it ain't about what I think it no more. It's bigger than that. I can tell because of how serious she's acting, man. So what you need me to tell her? 
You got somebody lined up to keep her safe or what? Who can I ask who's available right now? That's it. Who's the key? Yes. Do you know Beat's sister Ryan? Rainbow Beetle? I'm familiar. Well, she just arrived at Shibuya Station. She's trying to meet with Kai and Danizaka. Would you be able to take her there? Hang on a sec. You do realize I have other things to do, right? Please, Shibuya's fate depends on this. You're saying the city's gonna be erased if I don't help? Yeah. Fine, I don't get it, but I'll do it. Just from the station to Danizaka, right? I'm heading over from Cat Street now. Should be there soon. Thank you so much. Let her know I'm on my way, at least. Will do. Okay, Uzuki said she's on her way to pick up Ryan. Alright, I'll tell Ryan to stay put then, yo. Phew. That takes care of Ryan and Kai. I'll leave the noise related brainstorming to them. Now Shiki should be able to go repair Mr. Mew, which should allow Hishima to get in touch with Tsugumi. I sure hope this works. We'll change our fate! Back to Tips Tuesday Hall. I wonder if Tsugumi's finally yeah. free. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's got Mr. Muse Creator on her side. What's up? Huh? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about that creator. They're the one who started Gato Nero, too, right? I wear a lot of their stuff, so I thought it might be kind of cool to meet them or whatever. Yeah, totally. I'm sure Neku can introduce you once this is all over. Yeah, totally. Chiba. Three years ago, he said he wanted to take Shinjuku to new heights. Some heights those turned out to be. Was he lying to us? We believed him while the Shinjuku Reapers did. So he fought for change against the status quo and against the Game Master. And for what? So this Kubo guy could get his way? It just pisses me off. Huh? Huh, what? I didn't say anything. This whole situation sucks. But if Shinjuku didn't get destroyed, I never would have met Rinbo. Come on, we gotta keep going. Everything's gonna turn out okay. Everything? <laughs> well, if you say so. Hey, is that... Hishima, right. hey. Well met, Wicked Twisters. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. And here I was ready to indulge you with a taste of my witty sense of humor. When did he get one of those? Just get to the point, dummy. You see the guy trying to erase Shibuya, he's gone. Hey, you don't remember a reaper by the name of Kubo, do you? Can't say I do. I didn't think so. Let me explain. Not surprising. I sound like Hashima the Heartless, don't I? Is the ep uh, epithet fits? To think I would be so stubbornly unwilling to cooperate. Well, you said so yourself. If anyone can convince Shiba to change his ways, it's Sugumi, not you. Indeed, and I would say it again. Now, based on what I've heard, but do you know where she is? Well, I think Rindo. she's... stuck. What? Uh, she hasn't been freed yet. She's still stuck inside. Uh, How? Coco just messaged me. She's keeping Tsugumi safe in a cafe on Street Castry. But she can't bring Shiki in to help on account of all the noise nearby. And I don't think Karia can handle them all by himself. Damn. Right, I forgot Karyo was on his own. We're a little short-handed at the moment, but I'll be busting up my ass to make up for it. He doesn't have Uzuki to help him out anymore, but maybe we can start and help instead. We're going again. Boom, 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 boom. All right, back on Cat Street. Uzuki went to go take Rhyme over to Douglas Zaka, which means Kerry is posted in here by himself. He's probably still on the men after what she was nice to do, so he's gonna need our help real quick. Let's move. How's it hanging, wicked twisters? Hey, Kari. So the rumors are true. You really are back, phones. In the flesh. You holding up okay? I've been better, man. Those noise really did a number on me. 
Wish Uzuki could have stuck around to lend a hand, but it is what it is. And what it is, is teeming with noise. Yeah, something funny about that cafe. It's drawing in noise like flies to a lollipop. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Please, let us help. Can't say no to an offer like that. <laughs> an enemy approaches. Ready or not? Humble contribution. Oh, no. Best work. <laughs> Exquisite timing. Well done. <laughs> right. It's over. Let's keep it up. Hmm. Not bad. Let's keep it going. It's showtime. Stood a chance. That was almost too easy. The noise are nigh innumerable. She's right, and we don't exactly have all day here. We've got to convince Shiba to help us before it's too late. There's got to be something we can do to stop the noise. But what? What can we do? <laughs> What's the matter, Zeptograms? You having trouble calculating the distortion? Huh? Mr. Minami? Well, well. Looks like you took Taboo to a whole new level. You! What you doing here, Pipeface? Just came to check my figures. See what that little variable I integrated can really do, you know? Unfortunately, I don't. But does this mean we can leave the noise to you? Uh, hold up, phones! Listen, we need to go see Shiba as soon as possible. What do you say? Can you lend us a hand here? For Shibuya's sake? Huh. The only sake that interests me is my own. All the more reason to help us then. I know you've got your sights set on the city. Quick? And you can't take over if it gets erased. <laughs> I'm on to you, Zeptogram. You manipulated time again, didn't you? Now that trash you made was too tough to handle. So, am I right? Yeah. Actually, you're spot on. But I'm doing everything I can to save the city and us. <laughs> I've already factorized the garbage you created. Turns out, it's a product of the rejected cognitive energy of souls lost to time. And that energy keeps multiplying. Huh? Wait a sec. Didn't that Kubo guy say something like that before? All the cognitive energy from that would have been history gets replaced with a brand new set of thoughts. But now that old cognitive energy's got nowhere to go. It's just waste. And all that energy is stored right here, inside this pin. Every time I changed our fate, that noise grew stronger. And now, it's so strong we don't stand a chance against it. Your odds of winning are close to zero, but not equivalent. How so? If you align similar figures to the original soul's coordinates, you can overwrite them. Uh, overwrite how? By taking the cognitive trash you created with that pin and replacing all those lost souls with the living souls of Shibuya. Oh. But in order to do that, you'll need to awaken the people's consciousness. What do you mean? Can't beat that trash while Shibuya's still an operative. I'll leave the rest of the calculations to you. Oh. So it's not impossible, but it's pretty damn close. Rindo. How are we supposed to awaken the people's consciousness? Mm. Maybe Kaye will know what to do. 
I'm sure he and Rhyme will be able to come up with something. Beat! Sup, can you relay all that stuff Minamimoto just said to Rhyme? She and Kaye might be able to come up with a way to suppress the noise. Oh, for sure! You got it, man. So, uh, what the hell did Pyface say exactly? How about this? I'll talk, you type. Okay, all that's left is convincing Shiba to help. Minamimoto's got the noise at the cafe under control, which means Tsukumi should be freed soon enough. Everything's gonna work out. I'm gonna make sure it does, no matter what. Man, time travel sure sounds slick. Even if it's not without its downsides. Gotta say, though, I'm surprised. You never struck me as the advice-giving type of guy. I'm not in it for them. The only equation I'm interested in solving is my own. <laughs> He's a real character, that one. But hey, guess I can't complain as long as he's on our side. Because he is a good guy. Sort of. Man, how many times have I done this now? How many times have I made that noise even stronger? No, I can't think Linda. like that. <sighs> yeah? You okay there? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not buying that. You've been on edge all day. You're, it's like you're fighting for your life. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't want to get erased. And I don't want anyone else to get erased either. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen. Good. Kishima, uh, oh. hey. Well met, Wicked Twisters. Listen, we need your help. You sound as if you've rehearsed that line. I've definitely said it before. I had a feeling. A sensation not unlike deja vu. Even though you've changed the course of fate, it seems a portion of my previous consciousness has remained intact. You appear troubled. It's just, those memories will combine with others like it to become an enormous noise. That's what we're up against. I see. And if we want to stand a chance, we'll need all the help we can get, including yours and Sheba's. Do you think you can convince him to lend us a hand? I can't object to someone more prescient than myself, though Sheba is not easily persuaded. Yeah, you mentioned that before. You said Tsukumi could help. Well? Now she's finally free, which means you should be able to get a hold of her now. Mind giving it a try? You want Sugumi and I to ask Shiba to lend us his strength? It's the only way. Please. Very well. None among us desires Shibuya's destruction. I shall do what I can to assist you in your plight. Thank you. I'll see you at the crossing then. Okay, Shima and Sugumi should be able to set Shiba on our side. But that still leaves the noise. No, it'll be fine. Rhyme and Kaya will figure something out. I just know they will. We're going again. Kaya and Rhyme should have met up by now. I better go check on them. Surely they come up with something, right? I just hope it's not too late. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a sec. That's Beat's sister? 
Good to see you two. Wait, you know her, Rin dude? Hi there, I'm Rhyme Obito, but you can call me Rhyme. Oh, well, I'm Tosai Furusawa, but you can call me Fred. Fred, and you must be Nagi. Which would make you Rindo, right? Thanks for reaching out. I think I got what Minami Moto was saying. Good. So were you able to come up with anything? Wait, that man? What's he got to do with this? Well, he's not exactly cooperating with us. But he did provide us with a little intel about the noise we're up against. It's made from the lost souls left behind when it turned back time. If you align similar figures to the original soul's coordinates, you can overwrite them by taking the cognitive trash you created with that pin and replacing all those lost souls with the living souls of Shibuya. Hmm. So those lost souls are the corrupted data we've identified. But if we can tap into the souls that exist in this timeline, we should be able to use them to erase all that excess data. Yet his radiance sounded less than optimistic. He said we must first awaken the people's collective consciousness. Yeah, Shibuya Syndrome has really thrown a wrench into things. Indeed. The people's souls have been sapped of their energy. They may not give much help in their current state. That said, human souls are known to regenerate on their own. Time heals all wounds, as Rhyme would say. Exactly. So long as the affected souls remain intact, we should be able to aid their recovery and get them to lend us their strength. Let's see, we've got Fret and Nagi, then Neku. Beat can... well, he can provide backup. What you trying to say? And Neku's <laughs> strong, so he should be at the center of the network. Does that make it a Neku work? One could say that. What do you think, Kaye? <laughs> exactly. You know, maybe this will work after all. So, Rindo. Uh, yeah? If we combine all our powers together, I think we might just have a fighting chance here. Uh, you really think so? I do, and I've dubbed this plan... Operation Awakening. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, but what is it? Well, Neku uses his powers to sync up with everyone in Shibuya. All of them? Yep, then Nagi uses her powers to open their minds. Tis a daunting task. And that's when you come in, Fred. You're we win? I think we're about to. Uh, how exactly? By using your powers to remind people of the joy they felt here in Shibuya. Right now, they've forgotten the thrill of life. But you are going to help them all remember. Kaye and I will help too, but we've got to get ready. We'll catch up with you later. Okay, great. Thanks, Ryan. See you in a bit. But now I can get her power. We'll change our fate. What a long final day. <laughs> How long have we been on the last day? So first we go talk to some what? stuff to Shiba. Then uh, do what again? Did you even read what Kaya sent us? Neku's gonna sync up with everyone in Shibuya from the crossing. When Sagumi uh, send out a vision to awaken their consciousness from up the top of 104. Which will leave their minds ready for Nagi to open. When she does that, Fret, <coughs> Fret can send out one big reminder to the whole city. Word. So what are we supposed to do? Back up in defense? The Reaper is just taking care of the noise, yeah? Yeah. And once we have Shiba on our side, we'll split up and work from there. I am unsure of the feasibility of this plan. But if we don't feasibility it, Shibuya's toast. The whole city is counting on us. That's right. Thanks, Kaya, for the whole swap. You are most welcome. It was my pleasure. Just wanted to thank you while I still can. If it wasn't for the account you made for me, I'd probably still be friendless and alone, but I'm not anymore. 
I'm happy for you. It's wonderful to see you finally learn to open up, I guess. You always struck me as a profoundly lonely, and you were so cold to others, I wanted to help somehow. And I thought, since you struggled to, with face-to-face -face communication, why not try a digital medium? And it appears to have worked. Incidentally, if you are reinstated as a Reaper, I will be able to return your Swallow account to you. Thanks, but no thanks. Are you certain? Yeah, now let's do this. Well, look who it is. My favorite sheeple. Shiba, listen. Mm -hmm. No, we, we weren't on the final day you when we started. Quite the odd couple. Not to mention the motley crew standing behind you. We need your help. Please. Is that really you in there? She's as real as she's ever been. Someone sealed her soul inside that doll, and now she's finally free. What a pleasant surprise. In any case, the game is still afoot. I'd appreciate it if you stayed out of my way. Perhaps you haven't heard, but the rules have been revised. I'd be mortified if I were caught abiding by outdated protocol. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day when you'd be offering me advice. But go on. Enlighten me. What have I missed? Who had the audacity to revise the rules to my game without my permission? His name is Kubo. Do you remember? Kubo? He's a player. No. A Reaper. Was a Reaper, but he got erased. What did he do? He gave you new powers. Named you the Executor. Hang on. How do you know about all that? And moreover, why is it that I can't remember? Because Kubo was exercised in the future. Exercised? Removed from existence entirely. From the UG, the RG, even from your memories. Even though he was running the game with you this whole time. Kubo may be gone, but his rules are still in play. He's made sure this game will end in total chaos. And why should I believe you? Because I was one of his pawns too. He used us to erase Shibuya. Which is precisely what I desire as well. No, you don't. I've seen the future and you don't survive. You get swallowed up by the noise just like he planned. <laughs> he used you to erase Shinjuku. That's the reason Kubo approached you in the first place. Uh, uh. I have reason to believe he may have been an angel sent to destroy the city. An angel? Assuming he was, everything begins to make sense. He hid among the shadows, granting you the powers that would help him erase Shinjuku. Then, he donned the guise of a reaper, and began to monitor those of us who survived. Kaie and Susukichi immediately noticed a change in your demeanor. They suspected foul play and sought to uncover the truth. Sadly, their efforts proved futile, as would any opposition toward a being of the higher plane. So you're saying I was some sort of puppet? Made to dance by this charlatan? Precisely. How exhausting it must have been to have your strings pulled for three full years. Damn, you ain't really much of a people person, huh? Never has been. You left your friends behind in your single-minded lust for power. What are you talking about? You left me behind! I may have. You did, and the rest followed. Because they were worried about you. I heard their hearts crying out in pain. Kaie, Suzukichi, Ayano, and Shoka. Even Hishima. None of them could bear to look at the monster you'd become. And ever since you received those new powers, you shut me out. You stopped listening. Well, can you blame me? You kept showing me those depressing visions. I couldn't let myself get distracted by them. Then allow me to show you the truth you've been ignoring. The hour of reckoning is drawing near. Just once, I need you to see what cruel fate awaits us. All of us. That means you too. I know. I lived through it. Shiba, open your heart to me.
is that bird? It's an enormous amalgam of noise. One that grows stronger whenever I turn back time. Kubo, set a timer. And when it runs out, the noise will emerge from this pin to devour us all. We have to stop it. But we're going to need your help. <laughs> and what, pray tell, will become of my game? Is that all you can think of in our hour of need? You misunderstand. I'll gladly help you take care of the noise created by this Kubo. My concern lies with what happens after the battle is won. <sighs> Fine. If it's a fight you want, then I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> then it's time for a pestilent resurgence. You mean... The plague. It eats through planar boundaries. That noise will be nothing. Besides, that abhorrent angel was kind enough to bless me with these powers. Shouldn't let him burn a hole in my pocket. Thank you. Seriously, thanks. But if we are to stand a chance, we'll need to turn the heat up higher than ever before. Hishima, Tsugumi, lend me a hand. I need you to rouse the citizens of Shibuya from their stupor, light them up, and set their souls ablaze! Welcome back, old friend. It's funny. I haven't felt a fever like this in years. Now let's get out there and burn this game to the ground. Lightning in my hands. We're going again. All right, here we go. <laughs> Time to reawaken Shibuya's imagination. Everybody ready? God's willing. Just breathe. We got your smart boss. plan to convince him took four hours. I'm Are you proud of yourself? Enough. Take care of Tsuka. Cause fuck you. Will you, friend? I shall ease the burden on her psyche. You just focus on listening to their voices. Great. Thank you, Hishima. <laughs> I'll make sure their cries are heard. You can count on me. And I'll reach out to Rhyme. Sounds good. <laughs> I don't know, Rhyme. You sure you can handle this, yo? She can. Yep, no need to worry about me. Man, I still can't believe you came all the way out here, yo. Just look at you. All ready to save the city and shit. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> I'd be prouder if I wasn't so worried about you. I know, I you. know. But see, I made it. Safe and sound. All that worrying for nothing. Hey, can it, phones? Wait, is Neku here too? Yep. I guess you're still in between worlds. While Neku's been completely confined to the UG. Mm -hmm. Rhyme! Sorry for the wait. No worries, Shiki. You're just in time. Shiki! Oh, Beat, I'm so glad you're okay. I miss her pink hair. Oh, wait. He's here, isn't he? Yep, right over there. You mean you can see him? See him, talk to him, smack him on the head if I want. You finally came back to us. I knew you would. Neku, I don't know if you can see me right now, but I'm so glad you're here. Shiki, I can see you just fine. And soon, you'll be able to see me too. Uh, you want me to translate, yo? Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll see each other later. Oh, I just got a message from Kaye. Everyone, sync up with Neku's consciousness. 
Lend him your strength. Been doing it for years, yo. Okay, we should be fine, theoretically. But it's a lot of stress on Neku. I'm worried about him. Don't be. Said he'll be fine, yo. Tell him he'd better be. Commence Operation Awakening. Welcome back, girl. Kind of feels like the fog's starting to lift for me, too. Oh, you've still got a long ways to go. Try a little harder, will ya? Aye, aye. Never thought I'd say this. But I think it's time for me to get to work. This is, like, literally the worst. I know I'm irresistibly adorable, but can't you all just buzz off? <laughs> Mini Moto! 07734. Ew. Hey! Don't just spout off numbers and walk away, you jerk! 07734? As long as he's doing his job. You better do yours too, uh, it's, it's hello. <laughs> it spells out hello upside down on the calculator. Neku? What's happening? Is everything alright? He said hi to her. Yeah. Tell her I'm fine. Says to tell you he's good. <sighs> Well, we haven't got much time left. <sighs> Joshua! Need a hand there, partner? There he is. Josh. Pris, kid? No one invited me to this little reunion, so I invited myself. I must say, this is quite the impressive scheme you've devised. I hope you don't mind if I stick around and observe. Not at all, partner. Okay. Get ready, guys. The fated hour is almost upon us. What happens next is anyone's guess. into my head one after the other fair and foul alike whoa are you okay stay strong nagi it appears she's predisposed to absorbing negative imagination huh? i feel fine glad to be of service I rechanneled that depressive energy outward. Emotional redirection. In a sense. Those noise keep multiplying. Kaye, Sugumi, Hishima, let's go lend the boss a hand. We'll keep the noise at bay. You just do what you gotta do. Understood. I shall do my utmost. Open thy minds unto me. And pardon the intrusion! Threat! Nagi managed to dive inside! You're up! Roger that, buddy! Yeah. Galaxy mind activate, whatever he says. No. Time for a reminder. You ready, Shibuya? 
It's time. Yo, Rindo! V, Neku! Nice work out there, you guys. The once soundless city is silent no more. The people's voices are returning to the crossing. Huh. Sounds like Shibuya is already looking a lot better from their side. We should be all set to intercept the noise. Remember, they're just mindless thoughts. Let's show him what Shibuya's made of. Yeah, any minute now. You sure we can win? We have to. <sighs> Can't play Fango if we don't. F Fango? Yeah. Uh huh. Whatever keeps you motivated, I guess. Right on time. Damn, how the hell did they all fit inside that pin, man? Look skyward. What's happening? It looks like they're fighting or something? Those souls lost to time are trying to take control, but Shibuya's fighting back. They stopped. All that still ain't enough? No, but it was enough to give us a good head start. Huh? Uh -uh. See something. One giant noise. A bird? Gaudy. All those noise came back and merged into one, like some nefarious phoenix. Come on. Let's erase this noise for good! Nice Are we work. sure we can still do it? Right. It's over! 
Nailed it! Let's keep it going! You okay? You're mine! <laughs> How I fight it. Set of dodges and we got it. Quite a humble contribution. Well done. Is it over? Did we beat it? Is the victory ours at last? Hold up. Something ain't right. You're right. Look. What in the world is it doing? I am so ready for this to be over. Well, it ain't over yet. Oh, seriously? Risen from the ashes. Is it immortal? I don't think so. Let's finish this. For real! Just keep hitting it till it stays down, yo! Move, y'all! Get out of the way! We must weather this storm! <laughs> Just gotta wait for an opening. Well, we haven't got all day here! Is it over? 
Not yet. Now's our time to strike back. Right. It's immortal. It's over. Oh, I'm gonna hit those. Talking about Rin, dude. None of us would even be here if it weren't for you. Yeah. Good point. Gotcha. <laughs> Got him. Most spectacular. Each feather, a step closer to victory. It's working. We shan't rest until its fate is sealed. Oh. <laughs> Not even close, but okay. Responsibility to make things right. Rando, this city isn't going anywhere. Good. Let's go. Ow. Give me. Why am I so good? Give me beat. Beat's so much better at dodging. <laughs> changed huh yeah you're finally making your own decisions the hell yeah I am I gotta use this you ready oh, yeah. don't let your guard down Roger that, yo! Onward, soldiers! Almost there! Okay, well, I gotta heal out of that. Spread my humble contribution. Nice work. <laughs> well, that's a relief. It's over! I got this. No bones can fell me or me. I think this is it. It is. So don't screw it up.
It's over. One last hit. Everybody ready? Barely. Let's make it count, yo. You know I will. This is it. We're gonna take back this city. Holy shit. <laughs> One thousand percent. <laughs> Mob psycho. <laughs> It's over. I think we done it. We did it. It's gone. Seriously? Like, did we actually beat that thing? Damn right we did. Dude! Come on, don't cry, boss! Well, Rindo, it worked. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm just glad it's finally over. Yeah, me too. What about the game? Ah, oh, yes, we still haven't declared a winner. Shiba. Seriously? Hmm. I must say, I was heated for our final showdown. And I can only speak for myself here, but I'm not fit to fight at this point. I'm all burnt out. You and me both. Technically speaking, you have beaten me once before, but there isn't much sizzle in a victory by default. Don't tell me you want to play another round. <laughs> In case you didn't hear me the first time, I'm all burnt out. Let's just call it a draw. This time. I hadn't given much thought to what to do in this situation, but I suppose that means it's game over. In other words, we're done here, everyone. Just like that? What are we supposed to do? Go home, back to the RG. Toss that pin and you're all set. You'll be home before you know it. Gotcha. What about you, Shoka? I'll let you rejoin our ranks, if you so desire. Huh? Why would she do that? Where else would she go if not back to Shinjuku with us? Back to the RG with us? She's dead. She couldn't even if she wanted to. It's one of our rules back in Shinjuku. Once you're stripped of your title as a Reaper, you're out for good. So you wait. And when the game finally reaches its conclusion, you face erasure. What? 
That's the rule. She knew what she was doing when she joined your team. Is that true? <sighs> if you wish to rejoin the Reapers, then I'll give you till the end of the day. The decision is yours. Sounds like you don't really have a choice here. Says who? Shiva, you heard him. Well, what if I don't want to go back? I'm sick of being a reaper. So you just disappear? Pretty much. I've made my peace. What the hell? Why didn't you say something? Didn't know I was obligated to. Be happy. The game's over. You got what you wanted. No, I didn't. Huh? <laughs> I wanted to play with you. Um... Fango! We were gonna play! Since when? You're Swallow, aren't you? <gasps> you told me right before I turned back time. You've been there for me longer than I realized. I get that the game has to end. But our friendship doesn't have to. Well, you got me. Me and my big mouth. Listen, Rindo. If I return to the Reapers, I'll be stuck playing that dumb game forever. And I won't be able to see you. Not in person, at least. And that would really suck. It's been fun. And I'm glad we got to talk like this. You make a pretty good partner. Ah, uh, parting <laughs> is such sweet sorrow. Oh, huh? Josh, do um, something for her? Who are you? Rindo, what Rindo wants. <laughs> the name's Yoshia Kiryu. But mother and father call me Joshua. I suppose you can call me Joshua too. How do you get Joshua out of that? Uh, can we help you? <laughs> no, but perhaps I can help you. You may not know this, but I'm Shibuya's composer. Wait, the composer? So you write music no, or something? No, he's like the game master's master's master. Let's say we celebrate this chance encounter with a little game. What kind of game? Shoka! What did you do to her? I put her back on the street with the other stray cats. Find her, and you win. She could be anywhere. Good luck finding that anywhere, Rindo. <sighs> <laughs> Why? I, I don't think it's like a post post game. It's probably it's just to go find her. That's it. Didn't she say she had a favorite spot? But I can't. I actually kind of don't remember where it was. All I'm saying is I totally deserve a long vacation after this. I mean, I erased like a literal frick ton of noise. You're not the only one who busted their ass out there. Could have earned a nice promotion for myself if I'd kept track of all the points I racked up. <laughs> Even you pulled your weight out there, math man. Gotta say, I'm looking forward to having you back on the team. Huh. Don't try to integrate me with you garbage reapers. Excuse you? Who are you calling garbage, you overgrown adolescent? I'm trying to solve a bigger system of equations here. Those Shinjuku reapers didn't factor into my calculations, but they did help reveal a hidden variable. The composer. <laughs> Time to run some figures. Is that number cruncher really trying to become the next composer? If so, he should work on his delivery. Less math for starters. Eh, best to just let him do his thing, girl. 
actually, I'd high-key prefer if he, like, didn't do his own thing. He should, like, listen to his master. Huh. Since when did he have a master? Um, since I ever so graciously brought him back to life. Which means he owes me a super de duper big favor or two. And I'm totes gonna make sure he pays me back. Or he'll face super de duper big consequences. <laughs> Good luck to her. She'll need it. There's no way he's taking orders from anyone. <sighs> but enough chit chat. It's time to get back to work. You really went above and beyond, girl. You got a blue lollipop now. I would have thought you really did have a promotion on the line. <sighs> if only. All that hard work and nothing to show for it but utter exhaustion. I think it's time I took a vacation. How's about a bowl of ramen to kick things off? Your treat? My pleasure. Then count me in. Slurping noodles by myself was getting pretty boring anyway. <laughs> I know the feeling. Nice work, Neku. I knew I could count on you. Count on me to break free, you mean? After you <laughs> lock me up? I saved you. You're welcome, by the way. I didn't trust that Reaper. So, when she shot you, I sent you to Shinjuku as a precautionary measure. I appreciate your concern. But I think we both know you had an ulterior motive. <laughs> well, aren't you the super sleuth? I'll admit, I wanted to make sure you kept my secrets to yourself. Didn't give me much choice. My sincerest apologies. I should have known I could trust you, dear partner. Oh, brother. Although, I did worry dealing with the Executor might have been too tall in order. You mean that Kubo guy? Indeed. I had vowed to intervene if things took a turn for the worse. But you all seem to handle things on your own just fine. Hey, Josh? Yes? Can I go home now? To the RG? You mean you don't have your sights set on staying here, becoming composer? Can't say that I do. <laughs> your loss. Very well, then. One good turn deserves another, as they say. Let's not keep her waiting any longer. Yay! He can finally fucking... Wait, Shiba! Get with Where are you going? Tsugumi. The Shibuya Reapers said they'd let us stay. Aren't you going to take them up on their offer? No, I'm going back. But why? Because it burns me up getting played like that. I can't let that be my legacy. It's my fault Shinjuku's in ruins. I ought to be the one who starts rebuilding it. <sighs> I chose to bring about Shinjuku's destruction. It's only fair that I then take responsibility for the decision I made. And to that end, I suppose I also owe a few folks an apology. In that case, is it alright if I go with you? What? Don't you prefer it here? I admit it isn't bad, but there's no place like home, right? And if you're going to restore things to the way they were, then I want to help. You're too kind. Allow me to join you. No one knows quite how to snuff out my flame like you, old friend. Care to stomp on my embers too, while you're at it? And sully the soles of my shoes? I think not. You've chosen to run from the city you once ruled. I needn't embarrass you further. That said, if you seek to restore Shinjuku to its former glory, then I cannot stand idly by. Nor can I. I've got data on Shinjuku. Th that should help us start rebooting the city. Well, I suppose I could use the company. A simple word of thanks would have sufficed. You'll get your thanks once you've earned it. <laughs> thanks for everything, Shibuya. See you again someday. Yo, Ryan. Why are you ain't gone home yet? Come on, let me live a little beat. I'll study and no play makes Ryan an overworked girl. Not to mention how worried I was when you disappeared. I spent all my waking hours trying to find you, and all my not waking hours asleep at my PC. Don't you think I deserve to take a load off for once? I don't see no load around here. But you right. Gotta have some fun once in a while, yo. Hey, Beat. 
What's up, Shiki? Any luck? Not yet. I don't think he's back yet. Don't sweat. Phones is a man of his word, yo. He'll be back in no time. And if he ain't, then I'ma give Pris Kid a piece of my mind. Josh better watch out. I'm sure Neku's fine, but I still worry. I guess I just need to see him with my own eyes, you know? Yeah, I feel you. But hey, you'll know him when you see him, huh? Hey there. Hello. Sure is some lovely weather we're having, isn't it? It sure is. <sighs> Hate to spend such a nice day all by myself. Excuse me a sec, yo. Uh, okay, but don't start any trouble. <sighs> any minute now, right? He should be able to spot me thanks to this little guy. Every morning I tell myself, today will be the day, but I'm always Did you just some of your lore? Oh, sorry. Got a wife or girlfriend? Oh, sorry. It's from Hankins lore. Not today. Hang on. The story is interesting. Sorry. Right. Neku. Hey. Sorry it took me so long. I'm a workaholic, though. So, no waifu. It's okay. Waiting wasn't so bad. All that matters is that you're here now. Thanks. I'm so happy you're back, Neku. Me too. Ah, <sighs> feels pretty good. You know what I mean? I think so. Right? Man, I missed this. The hustle and bustle of the city. It's good to be back. Yeah. Dude, I started playing Alestra. That game Nagi's obsessed with? Yep. There's this guy, the one who looks like Mr. Minami. He keeps smiling at me. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> but like, I kind of want to see where it goes, you know? You sound invested. Enough to keep playing a little more, and enough to satisfy boss. She wants a progress report. What for? Practice, she says. As I said, Lord Tosai, Elestra is more than a mere game. Tis a veritable tome of truths about the nature of human oh, communication. Yeah. One that teaches us serenity in the face of an overzealous opponent. Or perseverance in the face of an onslaught of abandonment. No, I... I ended up, <laughs> I didn't yeah, want to start life in debt, communicator. so I didn't go to college. Let's hope. Well, I'm stuffed. Catch you tomorrow. Sounds good. And then I kind of, I kind of feel good that I didn't go because I got a couple hey, of my friends kind of got screwed over by their colleges. Guess I better go catch it before it runs off. I went straight into working. And got him. I would message you. But you've been offline for over a month. Gotta and find I her. I haven't seen you since that guy made you disappear. Haven't even heard from you. The game's been over for weeks now. And the only trace left of you is this old account. Um, I've dated a couple girls in my life. You don't even show up in my contacts anymore. But... Pretty much I just want to talk like we used after to, I moved to here, there's no I was like, uh, I just haven't really felt the, the there's want to so date. Much I, wanted to say. I was like, if someone, and you now know, I'll never get the chance to tell you any of it. If love finds me, then I'll go with it. But I just kind of like do my thing. There she is. No, it's okay. Rindo? Huh? It's you, right? Shoka? Oh! Whoa, careful! Still adjusting to life on the other side. Normally, I'd just pass right through people. 
You're here, in the RG. Mm. In the flesh, which is, you know, another new adjustment. Guess I'm a bit of a slow learner. The hell? You should have said something. I could have helped. Yeah, you could have helped by not ignoring my friend requests. Huh? I got locked out of my accounts, including my alt. And I made a new one so we could be friends. But somebody didn't check his inbox. No way. Ugh, my bad. What a dick. Thango too. Seriously? Oh, shit. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm back at level one. So lend me a hand, okay? Uh, what? Uh, no, it's nothing. <sighs> Got a nutkin I can give you. Oh, sweet! Just hug her or kiss her or something. Guess it's official now, Rendo. What? We're finally friends. <clears throat> friends. That's the first time I just put the phone down. <laughs> GG's. Oh, we'll just find you, and if it does, then you go up the floor. Just ride the wave of life, and we'll be chilling. Yeah. I've had him a few dates when I was younger. Um, two of them, mostly, I'm still friends with the chicks. We pretty much moved just to better our lives. So, oh, I was dating someone right before I moved here. She ended up going to Florida, and I uh, I came here. She works for Disney now. If it's meant to be, then maybe. Oh, but I'm happy. School just, uh... School just wasn't for me. Like, I like math and science and stuff like that, but when it comes to, like, history and, like, uh, writing essays, I can't. I suck at writing. If anything, trade school was my my ideal. But, I don't know, I, got, I went into jobs, like, as soon as I got out of school. I think I maybe had, like, two months after, right after high school. And then I went, I started working at a grocery store. And I worked there for about a year. And then the job I have now, actually, uh, I got, a, my friend was already working there. So I asked him if he liked it and he, he was making way, he was making way more money than I was. So, and I was in it for the money. So I asked if he'd get me in. And then I got in and I've been with that, I've been with the company for eight, nine years now. I took a three year break in, in the middle and moved south, but then my co the company got a building here in Georgia, so I went from South Carolina and moved here, and I'm back with the company. <laughs> that is awesome. My senior year of high school, I had such senioritis, I almost didn't pass. That's when I knew, like, School will not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm, I like to do things with my hands. I'm not a pen and paper guy. I'll lift shit for you all day, but writing shit, eh, it's not for me. But now the schedule for me is just like work. I stream, I sleep. That's pretty much been my routine for like almost a whole year now. I tried to stream right after work, but a lot of 
times. I'm just my schedule. My schedule keeps moving around, so I stream when I can. My days off though are auto. I uh, I stream every day off I have. And then I mean you're streaming now too, so you know how taxing it is. It's actually taxing the stream. A lot of people don't understand. They, they think, oh, you're playing video games. That's not work. It's fucking work. Like, it's work, you know, talking to chat and playing the game. And you gotta invest in some money to get stream streaming going. <laughs> streaming is, is the dream for me. Um... So uh, I just kind of stream it as much as I can, when I can. Game over. No post game? I didn't even say anything. What if I continue it? 28%. Congrats completing the game. You may have finished the story, but is your your collection come? Dig through each day to uncover secret ports. Who knows what surprises await you if you collect them all. Be sure to check out another day, a special side story set in an alternative universe. So there isn't there is a secret episode. 